This is going to be a video on active range of motion assessment of the wrist and hand. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. During active range of motion assessment of the wrist and hand, you are going to evaluate movement in several joints. The radio and ulnar carpal joint, the carpal metacarpal joint, the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joint. You are also going to include the distal radio ulnar joint in this assessment. During active range of motion, your patient can perform the movements in both limbs at the same time and you can directly check for differences. Then with the arms flexed to approximately 90 degrees, ask your patient to rotate the forearms internally for pronation and externally for supination. Make sure that the arm is not further adducted during supination to give the appearance of increased supination. To assess active range of motion of the wrist and hand, have your patient in sitting position with the forearms resting on the treatment table. We're going to start with wrist flexion, followed by wrist extension. Then we're going to do radial deviation. Make sure your patient is not compensating from the forearms. And then we're going to do ulnar deviation. Next up, we're going to do finger flexion. So simply ask your patient to make a fist. Consequently, finger extension. So ask your patient to spread the fingers as much as possible. For finger abduction, your patient can do the same thing. Then we're going to do finger adduction. So ask the patient to bring the fingers together until they touch each other. Now we're going to look at the thumb because it's something special. First we're going to do thumb flexion, followed by thumb extension. Then we're going to do thumb abduction, followed by thumb adduction. Lastly, we're going to do opposition. So ask your patient to touch the fingertips of thumb and pinky. Okay, this was our video on active range of motion assessment of the wrist and hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave it a thumbs up if you did. This helps us out a lot. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos. And I'll advise you to head over to the video on passive range of motion assessment by clicking right here. Or check the video on resisted isometric testing of the wrist and hand right there. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Thanks for watching. Bye.